My daughter kicked me to the curb and told me that her stepfather was the man he deserved as her father, so I removed her as the primary beneficiary from all my financial accounts. My ex-wife and I finalized our divorce last year. Long story short, she was having an emotional affair with a guy at work. She's now in a relationship with him. We also have a co-parenting arrangement for our daughter 14. My daughter is very close to her mom, and she even sided with her on her affair. For the first few months after the divorce, I tried to maintain a friendly relationship with my daughter. I gave her gifts, I never blamed her mom, and I tried my best. We were very close before this, but my daughter has always been extremely cold with me. After a few months, she just told me that she liked her stepdad much more than me, and he was the man my ex-wife deserved as a husband and the man she deserved as a daughter. I had no clue why she even said that to me, and that was the most painful thing anyone had ever said to me in my life. I broke down badly that night and took the next couple of days off work. After a couple of days, I decided that I wanted to emotionally and financially distance myself from my daughter and that I would do the bare minimum possible and fulfill my legal and financial obligations till she was 18. My sister was the only one there to support me all this time. I had no other family, my parents were long gone. My sister had gone through a similar thing a few years ago, her husband had cheated on her. Luckily, she had no children, but that experience had devastated her so much that she said she wasn't going to date ever again because she had lost trust in all men. After I had decided to distance myself from my daughter, I removed her as the primary beneficiary from all my financial accounts, my 401k, etc., and instead put my sister as the beneficiary. I started withdrawing from the college funds I had saved for my daughter and used them on myself and my sister. This wasn't a one-way thing, my sister earns more than I do, and over the past few months, I have received more gifts from her than I have received from my ex-wife in my entire life. We also went on a two-week vacation to Europe. All in all, I have emotionally and financially distanced myself from my daughter, and I am doing the absolute bare minimum possible. I have plans to never speak to her again after she turns 18, I just want to finish off my legal and financial obligations to her. My daughter has noticed this change in my behavior, but she hasn't said anything yet. Update, my daughter learned about my financial decisions a few months after I made them. She went to my house and snooped in my office. She saw the paperwork but noticed that her name was longer listed as the primary beneficiary. Instead, my sister's name was there. She also noticed significant withdrawals from the college fund, which she knew were meant for her education. That evening, she confronted me. She demanded to know why my sister was the beneficiary of the account. I've made some changes, yes, I replied. Changes? She yelled, her face turning red. You're supposed to be saving that money for my future. How could you do this to me? I felt a pang of guilt, but I reminded myself of the months of coldness and hurtful words from her. You made it clear that you preferred your stepdad and didn't want me in your life, I said. I've decided to fulfill my legal obligations, but beyond that, I need to protect myself, too. She said that I was abandoning her and taking away her future. I told her. You told me he was the man your mom deserved and the father you deserved. That hurt more than anything I've ever experienced. I needed to step back to heal. She was livid. So you just cut me off? Do you even care about me at all? I answered. Of course, I care about you, but I can't keep pouring myself into a relationship where I'm not wanted. You sided with your mom and her. Affair. You made your choice. My daughter stormed out of the house that night, slamming the door behind her. I didn't know where she went, but knew she needed time to process everything. I felt torn. Part of me wanted to chase after her and beg for forgiveness, but another part knew I had to stand my ground for my sanity. A few days later, my ex-wife called. She was furious. She said that I was destroying my relationship with our daughter. I told her I wanted a relationship with my daughter where I was respected and valued, and she made it clear she didn't feel that way about me. My ex-wife hung up, and I felt the weight of the situation pressing down on me. I knew this was a pivotal moment in my relationship with my daughter, and I hoped that, in time, she would understand why I made these decisions.